I brought a message for somebody who's been going through the fire and wondered in their own mind how long, why are things like they are? Some of you have been through enough stress that you should have lost your mind. Don't think it's strange when things happen to you. Because the truth of the matter is, every man, every woman, every boy, every girl will go through a time where your faith must stand trial. If we can just stand for every trial, there's going to be a glory. And if you just stand, I know it's hard on you, but if you just stand, even up under this pressure you're going through, if you just stand, when you get to the right place, you're going to look back over your shoulder and you're going to see a miracle. You will never know that you have faith until you're in a good fight. Real faith is proven in the furnace of affliction, in the time of adversity. You're stronger than you think you are. You're tougher than you think you are. You can go through more than you think you can. Be strong and very courageous. You got to have inner strength for this fight. It's not your outer strength. It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit. So you got to have that cut strength, that belly strength, that devil to find come hell or high water strength. That tenacity to take a licking and keep on taking that inner strength that when I can't do as I would, I'm going to do as I can, but I'm not going to stop doing to the best of my ability. You just got to grit your teeth, calm your resolve, and say, devil come hell or high water, I'm coming out of this. It may not look like I'm coming out. It may not sound like I'm coming out. My situation may not reflect that I'm coming out, but I once you start questioning yourself, you already lost. Even if you don't believe, believe. I gotta believe in me before anybody else believes in me. If you're gonna be successful in this game, you gotta have a dog within you. You gotta know it's a dog fight, and you gotta go get that fight. Life ain't gonna be easy. Ain't nobody gonna hand you nothing. And so by being committed to everything that I started, I finished it. It built a certain type of spirit. It built a certain type of mentality. And so now I couldn't quit even if I wanted to. I couldn't stop even if I wanted to. I had too much sweat equity in my life and everything that I was doing. I don't know how, I don't know when, but I do know that before it's over, I'm coming out of this. There may have to be a sequel.